Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about a basic sorting algorithm called Selection Sort. We'll go through how it works using a simple example. Let's sort the array 33, 22, 11, 55, 44 together, step by step. Selection Sort improves an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element from the unsorted part and moving it to the beginning. Let's see this in action. First, we look for the smallest element in the entire array. We start with the first element, 33, and compare it to each subsequent element. We find that 11 is the smallest element. We swap 11 with the first element of the array. Next, we ignore the first element, which is now in its correct position, and find the smallest element in the remaining unsorted part of the array. 22 is the smallest element here. Since 22 is already in the second position, we don't need to swap. We move on to the next part, leaving the sorted elements out. Here, 33 is already the smallest element, so again, no swap is needed. We continue this process. Now we look at the remaining unsorted part. 44 is the smallest. We swap 44 with 55. Finally, the last remaining element, 55, is already in its place. Our array is now fully sorted, and there you have it. The array is sorted from smallest to largest using selection sort. This method is simple and very visual, although not the fastest for larger lists. Now that we've walked through how selection sort organizes an array, let's move on to understand how efficient this process is in terms of time and space. We'll start with time complexity. Time complexity helps us understand how much time an algorithm takes based on the size of the input. For selection sort, let's break this down. Regardless of the initial arrangement of the array, selection sort performs a consistent number of comparisons. Here's why. In our example with five elements, the first pass requires comparing each element to find the minimum, which takes four comparisons. In the next pass, we have one less element to compare, so it takes three and so on until no comparisons are needed for the last element. Generally, for an array of n elements, the total number of comparisons is the sum of the first n minus 1 integers, which is n into n minus 1 divided by 2. This formula simplifies to big O n square. This means the time complexity of selection sort is big O n square, indicating the time taken grows quadratically with the size of the input. Next, let's look at space complexity, which measures the additional memory the algorithm needs to execute. One of the perks of Selection Sort is its minimal use of extra space. Selection Sort is an in-place sorting algorithm. This means it rearranges the numbers within the original array and doesn't require any additional storage space apart from a few temporary variables used for swapping. Specifically, it uses only a small, fixed amount of additional space regardless of the input size. Therefore, the space complexity of Selection Sort is big O1. This constant space complexity makes selection sort a good choice when memory is at a premium, although it's not the fastest sorting method available. And there you have it, the time and space complexities of selection sort. This gives you a full picture of what to expect when you choose this sorting method. I hope this clears up how selection sort works and what its complexities are. If you enjoyed this explanation, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more clear and concise tutorials. Have any thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments below.